Hi guys, this is Shivariti. Welcome to Coach Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain linker has set concept in collections. So let us, I will explain this uh, this uh, um, uh, linker has set using example. So let us go ahead and start our Eclipse and I will explain with an example. So I am creating a class as linked has set demo. Okay, so I would like to have a main method. So cl uh, I am clicking on the main method and click finish. So this is the one of the implementation of the set interface. So you can, I am going to create a set. Initially, I will explain using the string objects. Later tutorial, I will explain using the user defined object. So this is linked has set equal to new linked has set linked has has set okay and then string okay now i am going to add few uh, string object to this link uh, linked has set so linked has set dot and i am going to add a add few very sorry few values value one okay so i am going to add few more objects two three and four okay now i am going to iterate using the for each loop as these are the string variables i can directly say string value colon linked has set and i am going to print all these values of the value value now i am going to run this program the i'll show you the output if you see the output, the output is value 1, value 2, value 3 and value 4. So the properties, the behavior of the linker, uh, linker has it is, it is going to maintain the insertion order. And second property is linker has set dot and again I am adding the value 4 to this has set and now run this program now we will see it does not allow the duplicates also so linked has set maintains the insertion order and also it won't allow the duplicates or it will yeah it won't allow the duplicates so in your project the requirement is you need to maintain the insertion order along it and also the requirement is it does not allow the duplicates the best choice of the collection is going to be the linked has set. So, so far we are seeing with the string object implementation. Now we will see with the user defined um, uh, objects implementation for the linked has set. So I am going to uh, give an example using the employee class. So in the employee class, I have two member variables, employee ID and employee name. Here I have a constructor to initialize these two properties and then I have a setter getter methods and also I created a display method to display employee ID and the employee name. So now I am going to use this class by using this class I am going to create a few objects and then I am going to show you how uh, we can uh, work with user defined objects for the linked has set. So instead of string, now we want to work with the employee object. So I need to give the employee as a definition while create while defining the set. Now I need to create a few employee objects. EMP one equal to new employee of one not one, and I am giving the word as the same name. Okay, and uh, similarly, I am going to create 
few more objects and uh, employee two employee three employee four one not two one not three one not four and I'm just uh, modifying the names also Okay, I created a four employee objects. Now I'm going to add this um, employee object to the linked has um, linked has set dot add emp one. So I'm going to add this uh, these values also. Okay, so employee two, employee three, and employee four. Now I added this four uh, employee object to the linked asset. Now I am going to traverse using the for each loop. Employee EMP equal to uh, linked sorry linked asset, and then you need to print out. Otherwise, directly you can uh, call the display method of the employee class emp dot display okay that's all so now let us go ahead and run this program let's see the output see here the four objects we have added and it maintains the insertion order and also uh, it is not allow the duplicates so this is the this is what the link list uh, concept is so if you have any questions, please comment on my uh, YouTube video. Thanks for watching.